Oh, do you want to do? Do you want to read the uh, the full like intro? Spain, 1937. For nearly a year, the country has been ravaged by a vicious civil war between the democratically elected Republicans and the rebel fascist forces of Francisco Franco. Even away from the battle lines, the fascists massacre thousands for suspected political deviance. <laughs> while increasingly radical Republicans execute aristocrats and clergy as collaborators. Buoyed on both sides by a steady stream of foreign arms and foreign soldiers, the war rages on, leaving ruin and sorrow in its wake. Lost in this sea of violence and chaos, Gonsalvo Hidalgo is merely one of thousands of orphaned by the war. Until one cloudy night when everything changes, a taciturn man in a dark suit arrives at the orphanage in the middle of the night and whisks the young man away to a remote mountain village in the Pyrenees. The car races through the dark mountain roads, crisscrossing through fascist and Republican territories, dodging roadblocks and checkpoints. Pelted by rain and gravel, it finally arrives at a noble house, well-kept but ancient. In front of the house stands a beautiful man, his eyes distant, his mouth frowning slightly. Next to him, a maid holds an umbrella to keep the rain off her master's long, flowing hair. (laughs) (laughs) All right, Kevs, you know what to do. Ah, uh, the driver opens Gonsalvo's door. Somehow, at that moment, the boy understands that he has arrived at his new home. Does he dare give voice to his feelings? In this remote territory, can he find shelter from the horrors of war? Who is this gorgeous mystery man? And what hidden debt does he owe Gonsalvo's murdered father? Oh my. Can Batman <laughs> escape? Will, will Batman <laughs> defeat his enemies? <laughs> All right, um... Okay, yeah, we had the the, the initial scene. Um, oh, there are the characters. God, you look like Mr. Clean, Olivier. <laughs> I was thinking, I was thinking more Jamie Heineman, but oh, yeah. a little bit. Yeah, you could, you really could be more Jamie Heineman if you want. You're like, you want to, you want to solve the uh, the issue by uh, by cracking a, uh, yeah. uh, uh, yeah. kind of a talking about that time I was a, a scuba diver in in the 1890s. Yeah. Um, so we, we do pick up threat. Um, this is the first time we, p- we play uh, the threat. We draw is. five cards, right? Oh, we will, yeah. Um, Maria is jealous of Gonsalvo, um, but she can still act in support of the relationship. Um, so do we want to do that or do we want to, uh, to have a, a different threat? I think that's kind of fun, but, you know. And like I said, you don't have to like, uh, you don't have to, you can have uh, ex lovers who are Nazis. You can have uh, things like that. Um, that was in the list. Th- yeah, no, that's that is in the list. Yeah. Let's go for the jealousy one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of okay. like, kind of like that one. Yeah. So <laughs> once again, rules in a rundown are um, a normal number card uh, can take stumber- can take standard actions. Hearts can be used to take special actions, um, or they can actually take standard actions if you prefer. Um, Face cards are played as if they were numbered 11, but are otherwise treated as a regular card. Um, additionally, each player has a particular face card they can use to activate their character's unique ability, either their support or moment of passion. And an ace represents the threat, um, and they're played as if they are numbered 11. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and deal some cards here. Do I just click, or does, is there a way for you to do that for us? I can do that. Okay. Um, so, as as Maria or um, Olivier, mm-hmm. do we not? Do, do the do the heart cards not doing anything for us? They just count as normal cards. They just count as normal cards for you because you don't have the same okay, kind yeah. of restrictions on your normal turns. Um, yeah. 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 For 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 Gonzalo and, and uh, Honore, um, we're supposed to play to our archetypes normally. So without hard cards, we really can't. Um, and so a couple things you want to think about. Um, because you are supposed to uh, use a greater value, if you play like an, if I play something and you immediately play like a face card. Um, That's bad. It's not necessarily bad. It could just be a shorter scene. Um, and so it's kind of up to you, you know, if you won't feel like the scene should move on. Um, or not. Um, oh, it can be equal to the value. So if you play a face card, it's basically that. And once we all pass, then, um, 
then that's when the scene ends and we go to a new scene. Mm -hmm. um, oh, you can also discard a card and draw another card. So if you, if you opt to pass, um, uh, you can discard a card and draw another one. So you don't have to, you know. Mm -hmm. All right. And if you have no cards, you must pass. Okay. Oh, <laughs> if you choose to pass but can't think of any detail to add, simply wait a moment of tense silence and then note the end of your turn. Tense silences are always appropriate. <laughs> Although nice. I feel like that's going to add a little difficulty to the editing, but, you know. <laughs> oh, no, it'll be fine. Add a moment of tense silence. Olivier uh, broods intently. <laughs> uh, and, uh, okay. Um, let's see. Should the first scene be the initial meeting or do we, do we want to like assume that, that the first meeting has, has happened and we want to go past that and start somewhere else? Awkward first dinner. Awkward, Awkward first dinner. Okay, sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Awkward Yay. first dinner. Yay! <laughs> All right. So wait, and can can the table be like extra long? Oh yeah. Oh I mean, yeah. Whoever whoever decides that, that part of the scene it gets to be as long as you want it to be. <laughs> right. But, it's but, worse. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say the and table Olivia is long, and then uh, the Kirby's going to say it's even longer than I expected, <laughs> and then it's going to just get, <laughs> they're just going to keep getting longer oh, and longer. <laughs> if there's an episode name even longer than I expected, it might be. <laughs> It's the table is almost a mile long now. Uh, that is actually a really good life. episode name. You're gonna have to use that. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, oh, I want to also say, I don't like Gonzalo being under eighteen at all. So he's, no, he's going to no. be. Gonzalo is eighteen. He is eighteen. Gonzalo is eighteen plus. He, well, he's. Can we, can we just check that everyone in the story is over 18? Everyone Please. in the story. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason for Maria to be under 18. She's a She's been working. She's working. She's a working girl. And I'm pretty Wait. sure that Jamie Heineman is like oh, seven. Yeah. <laughs> he's like 55. <laughs> um, no, I think he's younger than that. 46. Yeah. Gun Gonsalvo, but, but, like, uh, but like Captain Picard season one, 46. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say that Gonsalvo, Gonsalvo is a... Uh, um, his parents were, were murdered about a year ago during the start of the Civil War. And since then, he's turned 18 uh, at the orphanage. And, uh, you know. So, so an area is probably like 25. Um, is I that a good gap? Yeah, Half I think that's good. What is that role? Okay. Yeah, because he is, he is a nobleman, but he is, if he's too much older, it's creepy. <laughs> so Maria is probably like early 20s, like 22, 23. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're making these older than the normal uh, anime tropes because yeah. ew. because we're not creepy bastards. Yeah, and of course. Late thirties, mid forties for Olivia. Or, uh, I Olivia. love my master's hair. Everyone <laughs> loves your master's hair. Your master swishes his hair. Swishes his hair dramatically. Maria is going to be like, "Can I braid your hair, master?" <laughs> Aww. Um, and then Honore will, will backhand her. No, bitch. I, I came out with the umbrella. He didn't. He was going to go out without the umbrella. I was like, no, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Must protect the main. <laughs> it's your family asset. <laughs> it was my grandfather's hair and my father's hair. After that, it is. It's not your only family me. asset. Um, Ew. <laughs> Just pull it off wow. as, a, as a as a scalp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay. Just a wig. That's all it is. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm I'm sitting at the the table uh, on the opposite end uh, of Honora, um, and um, this food is significantly more rich than I've been used to uh, at the orphanage. Um, in fact, uh, recently. Uh, I started helping out with, uh, you know, cooking and taking care of the younger uh, orphans. Um, but, you know, now I've been called away. Um, and I'm, I have no idea what this, this man 
um, why he picked me and why he's brought me here. Um, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm in a lot of sorts. Uh, it's been a long, a long ride and, um, and this is, this is a, <laughs> I don't think he said anything this whole time. He was just kind of sat, um, uh, looking at, at, at me for some reason. And we're going to, I'm going to pass it to Cleo. Oh, you're going to pass. Okay. Well, I'm not passing. I'm, I'm continuing. You can, you can okay. go on. Do you have to play a card for that though? You have to or? play a card, don't you? I don't have to. I played a two. Oh, Where? Do you see the Where two on see? the on the board here? Oh, okay. It's really zoomed in. Okay. Yep. Okay. okay. In that case, I am going to propose a toast. Um, Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say a toast, and I'm going to hold up my wine, and um, I'm going to make sure that Maria pours the wine. Um, to all to, to, <laughs> to lost friends. Yeah, of course. Well, no. A, Honore's already got one. Honore's just possibly drunk at this point. Um, <laughs> it's already drunk. It's a very early dinner too. It's like it's like two forty-five. It is. It is. Honore's <laughs> been drinking for a while, knowing that this meeting is going to happen. Uh, a toast to old family members and lost friends. Uh, and then I'm going to pass it over to Maria, I guess. Uh, no, I would be. Oh, it's to you. To Oh, yeah. go on then. You can add a detail or um, um, do something. Let's see. Um, I arrive in with um, the next course because this is obviously a multi-course meal Consider we're in the Pyrenees. Um, <laughs> and and lay out a beautiful tray of uh, a whole like suckling pig flanked by poached fruits. And I set it down so it awkwardly stares at... Uh, Gonzalo, <laughs> not not thinking about it, but uh, probably never having eaten this kind of thing before. But also seeing a baby pig staring at your face with like a with like a a pear or something stuffed in its mouth is a, is a bit off putting. And uh, I I read the room and realize I should probably get out of here. And I'm gonna play a three because that's what I have. Okay. Um, I lean down to um to pour some more wine for um. How do you pronounce the master of the house's name? Honore. Honore. <laughs> I lean down to pour some more wine for Honore, and I and I whisper into his ear. He doesn't seem to be very refined at eating, does he? Maybe you should possibly send him to someone to help him learn the ways of being a nobleman? Hmm. <laughs> That's, that seems really rude <laughs> <laughs> on the first day, but okay. Finishing school. <laughs> uh, he's, 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 try, he's trying to cut the pig with a spoon. <laughs> uh, gosh, uh, I have an inner... Uh, I have thoughts about this, this table, but I, I can't play them. Um, uh, let's, uh, hold on. I'm trying to, trying to deal with roll 20. How do I, how do I deal with this? Just, you could just make a separate pile for discard? I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, discard. But since, since Will played a queen. Mm-hmm. Which is, which a, is that very on the table until Correct. I someone take beats his that. advice. Okay. Um, um, yeah, that's very Maria. Okay. Um, yeah. So Gonzalo is going to sit there, uh, baffled by the the, um, the 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 number of uh, forks on the table. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pass. Oh, okay. Um, in that case, he's never even seen a fork. <laughs> All right, bitch. Never seen uh, 20 of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in that case, um, Honore is going to look at Maria for a moment and then he's going to stand up and he's going to grab the tray of pigs, slide it down the table. He doesn't really give a shit that, that there's glasses just flying everywhere. Um, he drags it down the end of the table and um, 
actually starts carving meat for Gustavo himself and he places it on his thing. He says, don't worry about the forks. It's there. They just take whatever you like. It's fine. Oh, do you sit down next to him? Yeah. Oh, no, I sit on the table with my leg facing through it. Just groin sort of presented. Um, <laughs> sitting on the Damn. table. <laughs> Um, just wow. sort of leaning okay. back on the ta- on the edge of the table because well this backfired. <laughs> <I know. laughs> so you played the queen. I played the queen. All right. <laughs> I uh, reading the room. Uh, pull Maria aside and say, uh, "I believe we are needed elsewhere." All right, and pull her I- out. I, I'm I'm resistant, but I, I play the Wait, king. Play so him? this this queen here is uh, the one that you played, Kirby, right? Yes. Okay. And so we're we're putting that separate because that's your that's your advice queen. Well, that's been disc- discarded because it was de-escalated, right? No, you, you're not. Um, so so you, I don't understand how oh, that no, the aces advice. escalate. That advice stays on the table until I take it. And I can take um, him whenever it, I like. I, I was advising to send him away to someone to become more learned. And I might. And also at the same time. And I might take it at one point. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. Um, okay. Um, so. Maria, I guess. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, Maria. Um, Maria plays, looks plays at, an ace. N- well, we should probably say that, by the way. What we're, <laughs> people can't. I didn't play no, that. I'm it's gone two, three, three. Queen, Wait, oh, queen, oh, king yeah, ace. Uh, uh, Kirby hasn't gone yet. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, what? Well, where's the discard pile? Uh, discard should be right. over here. What's this one? How do I flip this? Ah, oh, okay. there we go. Flip card. Discard. Uh, Here's what we're going to do. Okay, well, um, I'm kind of dumbstruck by the moment of passion that's happening. <laughs> um, and and red with, like, red with fury and embarrassment, but I, because I'm so dumbstruck, I allow myself to be pulled out of the room. Oh, there goes the Joker. Okay. Um, all right, so... I'm putting down an ace. Oh, come on. <laughs> and I drew that with a trackpad. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm putting an ace over here. Um, yeah, so so as as Maria leaves, um, uh, she shoots a, uh, a venomous glance uh, uh, my way. And... Um, yeah, that's enough foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is that my go then? Yeah, that was that was a that was a um, that was a scene ender. That, that was a yeah. that, well, <laughs> if you can pass, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna have to pass. Um, yeah, um, Minore just sort of relaxes back into a an easygoing kind of genial smile <laughs> at this. Are you are you hand feeding the? Or are you feeding the? Pork <laughs> oh to oh the... no no! I'm I'm just I'm just pointing at forks that he should are, be using. Are you chewing his food for him? <laughs> Baby bird. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm 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 just being very attentive. You're being very with attentive. smoldering eyes. There you Open go. wide, Gonzalo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> um, That's not an aeroplane. If it is, it's a Boeing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, it's Olivia's turn, right? Oh, is it? I think so. Uh, I guess I have to pass, right? I, need, I would need higher cards to do anything. Yeah, or mm-hmm. equal. Okay, so I can swap out a card, right? And then I take a card? Yep. Uh, I guess I have to pass. Okay. Um, um, let me, let me, I'm, I, I want to check. I, I drag Maria out basically by her arm. Okay. Uh, let me see one thing. Uh, 
I when the scene ends, do we reshuffle our hands or? I, think I assume so. we I, th- I assume we said. discard everything and then just we reshuffle. Okay, okay. Yeah. so then I might as well continue. Okay. Um, Does the queen stay on the th- on the board though? The queen and the ace both stay on the board. Everything else, okay, uh, gets reshuffled. Um, okay. All right. So uh, yeah, Gonzalo, I will. Uh, I, I I'm conflicted uh, because on the one hand, uh, this this feels very strange. It's so opulent and. Um, you know, it's not just that it was, you know, more uh, fancy than anything I've seen, but the fact that um, we're able to eat this well and do this well when there's more going on is, uh, is strange. But um, but for some reason, the 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 fact that I uh, that he was able to to put. Um, that sort of distance between us aside and come to a, and, and come to me and and help me um, it makes me think that maybe maybe he's got more to him than than just being uh, <laughs> sorry <laughs> sort of a rich spoiled nobleman um, so that's my that's my thought for the the scene Hot and brooding. Okay. Um, I go then. Uh, does Joker count as an 11? Yes. Okay. Right. Played Joker, by the way. Uh, I am going to... Come, you're obviously not enjoying the meal. Let's, uh, let us let me show you to your room. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the exact order of words in there. <laughs> <laughs> Was interesting. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me, show, inter- let me show you to your room. He, I'll get up and I walk out of the room. I'm expecting him to follow. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Olivier? Yes. Is it my turn? Yes. You probably have, if you have to pass, just pass and add a D I, to or something. I, I have to pass. Um, or you could just have I, a, a tense moment of silence. Yeah, I, I'm pulling. I'm still pulling Maria, and I, I look at her just with a tense moment of silence, glaring. <laughs> Maria, Maria, oh, is that is there food on my face? <laughs> oh, there's egg on your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I, I was beating an omelet earlier. Yeah. All right, I guess it's your turn. Uh, yeah, I I can't do anything, so I'm gonna pause. Okay. And, um... Oh, we have to discard a card, right? Don't have to, no. I probably should, because why not? Well, I mean, we're probably going to end the scene now, because... I'm taking him to bed. His bed. <laughs> we also have a lot of face <laughs> cards out on the table. Yeah, I, 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 I'm assuming I've been dragged into the kitchen by now, and I'm just, like, pressing my ear up against the door. Yep. Okay. Um, which, which, <laughs> which basically means you just heard what I've said. I will, I will pass, yeah. and, um... Follow, uh, um, <clears throat> follow, uh, owner to the to my bedroom. That's easier than I thought. Go roll 20. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh oh. <laughs> um, she's got a whole stack okay, of so hearts. scene two. Uh, let's what, what <gasps> let's do, uh, what kind of scene do we want to have? Do we want to? Do you want to do uh, the garden scene with uh, Maria? Uh, do we want to do something else? Um, should we go into town for some shopping? What, Gustavo and Maria? or It could be all of us. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, so uh, let's start playing. Um, so today uh, we're going into town for some shopping. Um, normally this is... Uh, this is something that um, Olivier would do with Maria, uh, but today, um, owner. Are we the only two staff, or are there other staff in the? That is. Can be any more any staff. staff you want. You can make up staff if you like. You can. Uh, okay. You can when you play a normal action. You can describe that kind of stuff. Okay. You two especially um, can describe that kind of stuff. Uh, 
So, um, yeah, normally, uh, normally, uh, Olivier and Maria would be going to the, to the town to, to buy groceries and things like that. Um, however, today, uh, Honoré is taking me to buy some additional clothes. I didn't really come with much. So I, um, I'm sitting and staring out the window, uh, of a, the car, um, and, um, you know, thinking about uh, last night, and um, I'm not sure what to feel yet, uh, but I am. Uh, uh, yeah, you're, you're gonna you're buying me some additional clothes, um, just because I'm kind of kind of disheveled. Okay, um, page seven. Uh, Honore is going to signal to Olivia that um because I'm assuming Olivia's driving because mm -hmm. because Maria can't drive she's a woman <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, my hands are too small to grip the wheel well, I mean, you can barely see over it you a oh, seriously uh, the character Olivia doesn't let anyone touch the Rolls Royce <laughs> no um <laughs> he, he, he taps you on the shoulder and he goes uh could you pull up to um Putnam and Sons, uh, <laughs> finest men's clothes. clothiers. Of course, sir. Of course. And that's basically my action. Uh, is it my turn next? I mm -hmm. don't have. Okay. Uh, card, card, card. I'm just curious about what kind of cars there were in uh, in Spain at the time. You could have had one of those like cool '30s Rolls Royces imported if you're a rich person. Yeah, I'm just curious if there's any sort of. It's a Rolls Royce Phantom too. <sighs> anyway, um, we pull up to the. Uh... What was the name of the place? Something and Sons. Putnam and Sons. I don't Putnam know why. And Sons, the most Spanish <laughs> of Spanish. Cl clothiers. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're they're newly imported from um, London. Proper East End gangster kind of style. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we pull up to Putnam and Sons. I uh, um, head in and it smells like, you know how a men's clothing store smells that has that sort of... No. Oh, okay. They have that sort <laughs> of... Uh, does it Clo smell of testosterone and sweat? No, it's more of like clothing <laughs> chemicals and... That sort of thing. But also a little mustier and a little older because everything's made of wool. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I go up to the, to Mr. Putnam, who I who I know from having having to get an RA's uh, suits fitted and like, hello, we uh, would like to commission some work for you. And uh, we I sort of guide Gonsalvo in and then they start doing the measurements and stuff. And I uh, start to go about my other business which is using my nose to discern certain good vegetables from bad vegetables <laughs> <laughs> and but I keep I keep an eye on Maria as I do that because she's supposed to be helping I'm, I'm literally going to um, pretend to be looking at clothes that I think um, that I think Honore would look good in um, that I'm I, I'm going to suggest to him to buy in in the shop. So I'm going to hang back in the shop and, and pretending <laughs> to be look at those. But at the same time, I'm eavesdropping. Okay. Oh. Um. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Um. I have to pass. So I will. Yeah, I, I will. I will stand there awkwardly while being measured and looking at all the. Well, not all the clothes. It feels like there's there's fewer clothes than you would expect. Um, it looks like this place has not been as uh, as. Um, yeah, I, I note that this place has not does not look as uh, um, as well tended as one might expect. Uh, such a high end store to look. I suppose. And I'm passing, so. Okay. 
and play my Joker. Oh my god. <laughs> um. Oh, I'm thinking now. Uh, Honore is going to be eyeing up uh, Gustavo. Um. <laughs> because that's what he does. And he is going to suggest to the more senior Mr. Putnam um, specific styles that Honore likes. Um, he is always... He's, he's, he wears finely tailored suits and he wants his ward to be adequately tailored um, in appropriate styles. Slightly different to his but still very, very nicely made. Complimentary. Yes. Tight is the word that I was going for, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> and moving on. All right. I guess it's my turn. All right. Uh, I come in to the teller shop with, you know, bags of, of produce cabbages sticking out and that that big baguette loaf that's always uh in the bag <laughs> surrounded by lettuce that is that is tomatoes. yeah that's the international yeah. sign for um Grocery for groceries yeah <laughs> yeah and a bag uh, of oranges uh, i look and say oh um presumably they've already got like the suit on but it's got the sleeves that are way too long and yeah. uh it's inside out because it always is while they're uh, the, doing the tape measuring part, it's like, oh, that'll look very handsome. And I, I say, Maria, have you picked up any uh, of the items on your list? Um, wait, can I interact with you in yeah, your I, scene? Uh, or? Yeah. Okay. Um, yes. And I, and I hold up, like, some cotton underwear. <laughs> some, like, men's cotton I, underwear. I believe you were supposed to see the... I believe we were looking for eggs and, and cheese. Honore is actually going to look over at you. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry. And, I, and I, I'm like blushing and I put the underwear down and <laughs> head out into the market. <laughs> but in, in, internally, I'm making a mental note to um, suggest to them. Was that a... Did you do that? I guess. I mean, was that your action to do that afterwards? Are you passing or are you? No, I mean, no, 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 not you, uh, oh. Kirby. Oh yeah, I, I need to pass. Okay. So I have an idea. So Kirby, or uh, Maria, um, I I say excuse me. Um, I'll, I'll go help her find the eggs while. Uh, um, you finished here with uh, Sir Putnam. Um, and I, I head out the door and go to Maria in the market. And I say, look, I, I, I know that I'm not the most refined person. Um, and, and I apologize. Uh, oh, did you hear that? I, th I thought that table was longer than that. <laughs> No, I, I, I did hear it, and I, I, I'm i sorry, but uh, you're not wrong. Um, I, I do need to learn more about um, about how I'm supposed to behave, um, and, and you seem to, to know that. Um, could you please help me with that? Um, could you help me, me learn how I'm supposed to behave and uh, what the proper way to act is? Of course I can. Uh, and internally, Maria has, like, the grin from the original Grinch. <laughs> Is that your turn? Because I'm just about to play something that's going to make that go go really well. Yeah. That no, was I was turn. just reacting. Okay, my turn. Let's play that ace. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maria is uh, planning to make a fool out of uh, Gustavo. Gonsalvo. Gonsalvo. I don't care. Hot and point. also of Gustavo. <laughs> Gustavo. Gustavo. I don't even know who Gustavo is, but... It's Gustavo Putnam. Uh, Gustavo Putnam, yes. <laughs> he was, he's, he, yeah, they, they, they originally came from England and... Uh, Running from the mob, and then, yeah. He's the son um, from yes. Putnam and Sons. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Um, yes, yeah, so she's she's now officially planning to school him in ways mm-hmm. of, well, in ways to embarrass him, basically. You are now able to take action against him. <laughs> Thank you, Clea. <laughs> You're welcome. I knew you'd enjoy. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, I'm going to play a queen here because that's what I have. Yeah. Um, gosh, I really don't know what I can add. Um, let's see. Well, you I get mean, a pass I end up, if you wanted to. Well, yeah, but I shouldn't. i got to escalate the weird. <laughs> <laughs> Expedite the weird. Yeah, uh, I, I catch them talking when I'm putting groceries into the car and... I scratch my chin, go in and pay for the suits, which presumably it's going to take a at least a day before they cut everything to fit. I guess I got to go buy some goddamn eggs and cheese. Hey, I was helping <laughs> you buy them. <laughs> I can find eggs. I've done yeah, that before. That's that's, uh, yeah, that's my turn. Um, I'm... I mean, I'm just going to take... Uh, Gonzalo around the market getting the shopping Um, just making small talk because I have to discard alright oh it's me again Um, yeah I I also have to pass Um, yeah so uh, we're going to continue looking around the market Um, Gonzalo is pretty decent at picking out food he helped out with the the food prep at the, the orphanage so that's my that's my detail to add. You'd make a good maid, Gonsalvo. <laughs> that is that is a direction you can take this if you want. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, first things first, you need to wear this. <laughs> that might have the opposite effect that you that you're hoping for. Clear? Yeah. <laughs> um I guess that's me. I also need to pass. So, um, is that all of us? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so that's yeah. that's it. All right. Um, I think we should skip ahead a couple of days. Otherwise, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna spend a lot of time. New, um, new suits. Uh, it's been a couple of awkward days. Yeah. We're, yeah. I'm starting to get settled in. Um, it's raining now. Oh, it's raining. It's, it's raining. raining. Okay. You you can you can't tell if there's thunder or like fascist fighting in the uh in the distance and you occasionally hear some like uh German built planes going by. Yeah. Um we're definitely doing quite well for that. Um actually let me play a card cuz So, uh in the last few days uh uh we've been um I've been I've been uh Somewhat bored, honestly. Um, mostly because the uh, I, I'm used to having more that I have to do, right? Um, I'm used to to having to help look after the, the younger orphans. I'm used to having to to do more cleaning and cooking and all that stuff. And here there are servants to do that, um, which feels weird, and it honestly makes me feel a bit guilty. I feel like we should be doing more for 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 the people. Um, but uh, I've also been uh, I've also been uh, going secretly to Maria for advice on um, on you know manners and and uh, etiquette. Um, now I, I will know I I'm an orphan, but I'm also I'm recently orphaned. Um, and I came, I, I came up with what would be, I guess now would be a, a, a middle class upbringing. So it's not like you can say like completely, you know, like you know how to read. I know how to read. I'm, I'm, my 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 parents were um, were uh, gosh, I'm not sure actually, uh, but my my father was not. Um, I guess it, w- it would be again like a like a. Working class, or not working class, but like um, like a kind of white collar equivalent um, sort of job. Um, so. Accountant. Yeah, accountant. Or I was actually thinking something more political. Um, 
like a, you know, but anyway, um, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very grateful to, to Maria for all her help, for all her help, um, because I feel like it's, uh, it's very important to impress and, uh, um, make, uh, Honoré feel like uh, his his kind of investment in this is worthwhile. Um, so Cleo. Okay. Um, Show him your library slash kink room. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna doing. Um, <laughs> I'm going. Uh, I I will actually show him the library. Um, you have seem, seemed out of sorts the last few days. And I understand it's a bit of a a world, a different of a worldview. I've got some old friends coming to visit soon. But um, in the meantime, to take your mind off the troubles that you have, um, please feel free to use my personal library. It's full of Basically, it's the scene from Beauty and the Beast. It's like, <laughs> have a library. <laughs> With that sound effect. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to get turned into a candlestick. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be a candlestick and you'll like it. It's all right. You've got a feather duster with you. It's fine. <laughs> all right. Um, is that the end of your... Yeah, that's command? it. Okay. Uh, while you're, you know, discussing and sitting in the library, um, I come in and uh, serve you guys tea and coffee, as as I have noted the time, and it is time for that. Um, Anori gets his usual black coffee with no sweetener, and uh, Gonsalvo gets tea with six or seven <laughs> lumps of sugar in it stirred in. <laughs> Do you know when the last time I had sugar was? No. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um maybe topped off with a little bit of uh, a little bit of milk. Just a just a touch. With uh some little tea biscuits and stuff. And I say, Oh, you seem to be fitting in very well here, young man. Uh the library is yours. Enjoy your, your tea time. And I I depart having extended the scene. Okay. I'm going to enter the room and just be like dusting around the library. Just conspicuously. Um, with a, conspicuously yeah, just dusting. conspicuously with a, with a pink feather duster. <laughs> um, and I notice that because um, because I I assume I've been giving kind of like good advice and bad mm -hmm. advice to kind of even it out. Um, I noticed that um, gone Gonzalo Salvo. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, I keep I keep wanting to say Gonzalez. No, <laughs> I want to say Gustavo. Gonzo. It's fine. Gustavo Gonzalez. Yeah, Gonzo over there. Um, he um he. He's like holding himself better in a more refined way, like kind of standing with his chin up. Um, but also, I don't know. I'm trying to think of something. He, he, he could be doing something wrong. He's um, not using his pinky finger for his cup of tea. <laughs> he's not. He's not. He's using his 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 thumb for some reason. I've taught him that. <laughs> He's picking his tea up, tea cup up with his thumb and drinking. Oh God, no! <laughs> and, it, and, it, and it's also very awkward for him, uh, for him, and it's awkward to watch. But I've taught him that that's the proper way. <laughs> Try my best. It's very difficult. <laughs> it's kind of the monkey grip, honestly. It's awkward because it's posh. Oh, I see. Well, that makes sense then. Um, okay. Um. So. Hmm. 
I will play. Um, hmm. All right, we're gonna we're gonna play a normal one. Um, I'll play some hearts. Uh, well, I, I hearts let me do stuff that's a uh, that's out of character. Like make out. <laughs> yeah, hearts let me just suddenly decide. <laughs> we're to not make there out. yet. We've barely even held hands. It's fine. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, uh, I'm not confident enough for that. Uh, no, um, I'm trying my best to to listen to all of uh, Maria's advice. Uh, it's a little tricky because uh, some of it seems to weirdly conflict with other things. Um, it's a little scattershot. Uh, but uh, to take my mind off of um, some of the other things, I... I, I I have been helping uh, Maria out, and uh, I've also been uh, reading through the library and kind of looking around. Um, I never had a lot of time to uh, to read um, uh, just for for fun, um, but um, um, but now I'm having fun reading some of the classics. Uh, and I, um, yeah, uh, owner seems to spend a lot of time around me. Um, and part of me, you know, as much as I appreciate it, I also wonder if he doesn't have anything actually to do and he's really bored. Uh, <laughs> cause I don't, I don't quite understand what he's, what he's, what he's all about here. Um, but for some reason I, I do still appreciate it. Um, you know, we've, we've. I, I'm at the point where at least I can talk to him now, and we do have have conversations. Um, but for some reason, I feel like he seems he seems very lonely. Um, I mean, he says he has friends and he has uh, servants, but it seems like nobody's gotten particularly close to him. Oh, okay, okay, my turn yes. then. Right, okay. Um, I am going to sort of scout through the library and I'm looking for a specific book which appears to have gone missing. Are you looking for your Yowie library? <laughs> no, I've got an idea about what this is. Um, so basically I'm going to start throwing books on the floor in a, a desperate attempt to find this one specific tome that has gone missing hmm. or has been misplaced. <clears throat> Got a bit of a temper on me at the moment. I'm I'm kind of sort of cursing oh. under my breath. So, yeah. And I'm going to move on. <laughs> okay. All right. So I am going to come in. A little with a, a bit of urgency and, and whisper to Honore, uh, some bad news about the war that is sure to make him even angrier. Uh, something like uh, some nearby town has been uh, bombed and taken over by the fascists. And it's close enough to make you worry, but also familiar enough to make you angry about something. Dun, dun, dun. And that, that's my turn. How do you solve a problem like that? Yeah. <laughs> oh god, I need to rewatch that movie. It's been a long time. Maria? So, so, sorry, I know it's my turn. I've got a Starburst in my mouth. Um, <laughs> what flavor? Oh my. Um, red. Okay. <laughs> Red's a flavor, right? It is. It is. <laughs> um, okay, so. I'm going to be like hurriedly running around picking up the books that are being tossed and trying to put them back in like similar or like neater places or just pile them up. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I'll do. That's all I'll be doing. Um, it, it, no, I'm going to walk over and, and kind of try and put my hand on um, the master's arm. Like, it, it's it's okay, and try and, like, 
calm him down. Dun dun dun. Oh. R- rubbing my hand along his his arm and his chest. Oh my. Oh my. That escalated quickly. It, it, it's okay, sir. All right, there we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm gonna Ooh, I, I'm gonna come in from the hot. other side of the room, um, uh, where uh, I'm holding a book, um, and I say, uh, "Is this is this what you were looking for?" I found it. It, it seemed to have uh, somehow gotten gotten stuck in a strange place, but. Uh, um, I happen to be looking for it. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, I was going to say it fell behind the bookcase, but, you know, uh, uh, I think they're probably built-in bookcases. Yeah, it was... It was yeah. Uh, yeah, so, so while you're having this kind of tender moment, uh, or not tender moment, this... this uh, <laughs> this uh, Assault. This, this some kind of moment that you're having... Uh, I'm going to interrupt it uh, with the book that you were looking for. Uh, can I ask what it is? What, what is this book? Oh, okay. Right. Playing an ace. Ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just escalate. Always escalate. It's always funnier. Um, I'm going to basically brush Maria off me, just like almost knocking her o- over. Um, oh, my gosh. <laughs> because it's just a complete rejection. And I take the book off him and I look through it. Yes, yes, this is the book. And this actually belongs to you. This is um, your father's journal. I understand that there are pictures of your your family in this book. It, it's um, so that's yours, not mine. It was, it, it might explain a few things. That's all I'm saying. I've not read it, but I'll leave that with you. I see. Um... Okay. And of course, I've got to escalate the fret, so I have completely rejected Maria's <laughs> advance. Um, therefore, she can now, I believe, start taking... She can now be openly hostile and harm characters. One oh, character. Yay. Snap. So obviously she's, she's giving him the stink eye. <laughs> So and yeah, I'm passing over to. Um, I need to pass. I can't. I can't oh do anything. You can add some detail. Uh, I mostly just start picking up books and putting them back on the shelf. <laughs> um. Okay. I'm. I'm gonna pass. But the detail I'm gonna add is that I'm after having been like brushed aside. I, I basically just fall to my knees and I'm kind of sitting there. Are oh, you gonna make that shocked face? No, I'm. I'm. I'm just seething. I have like an apathetic face. Um. And I don't know if this is detail that I can add, but um, I'm going to say that Maria occasionally steals silverware. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'm like gripping a knife that I stole that's in my um in my apron. Not not doing anything with it, just gripping it. Dun dun dun. Uh so I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna I'm gonna stare at the book in a in a tense moment of silence. Um Okay, I am also going to pass and draw a card. Um, well, if, if... And I'm just going to be watching the scene quietly. You passed the last time, then... right? No. Oh, okay. I played the ace last time. Okay. That's all passes then. Yep. All right. I think that's all the time we have for this session. Marissa, where can people find you? Uh, you may find me at Radical Town. That is uh, radical dot t o w n. Uh, that is my Mastodon instance. Cleo, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on the YouTube's at Zombie Cleo. Will, where can people find you? You can find me on YouTube under Team Satisfaction. Lisa, where can people find you? Well, I still stream on Twitch and Mixer. My uh, name there is Super Lisa. My channel's name, I should say. Um, but you should probably visit my personal website, superlisa.nl. You can find links there, clips, and ways to get in touch with me. 
I'm Dutroid, and I stream infrequently at twitch.tv slash Dutroid. Our music for this session is Sancho Panza Gets a Latte by Kevin McLeod. We appreciate any feedback you can leave. Also, tell your friends.